Every spring, these massive fields along the hillsides come alive. People from all walks of life and all over the world come here to experience the beauty and witness the sea of brilliant colors. Although this is one of the major attractions in the area, I want to highlight some of the other things in and around Carlsbad as well. Because if you're traveling from outside of the area, you can turn this visit into a long weekend getaway. So grab some snacks and relax as I take you on a little journey inside the beautiful flower fields of Carlsbad, California. Carlsbad is located in northern San Diego County and is just south of Camp Pendleton Marine Corps Base and the city of Oceanside. Downtown San Diego is approximately 35 miles away. Carlsbad has a population of about 115,000 people on just under 40 square miles of land. The coastal city is known as the Titanium Valley because of its home to the biggest names in golf. Just behind the flower fields is Legoland, which is one of the area's biggest attractions and is the second largest employer in the area. As of 2022, tickets for the flower fields can only be bought online. You have to book a half an hour time slot, but once you're in, you can stay as long as you want, and parking is free. Upon entering, you'll need to produce a QR code for them to scan. Once everyone in your party is scanned in, they hand you a map and you're on your way. Timing is important when planning a trip here because the flowers are only in bloom from March 1st through May 8th. Yes, you heard that right, only about two months. Mid-April is probably the best time to visit because the fields will be in full bloom with over 80 million multicolored ranunculus flowers. This is one of the largest ranunculus bulb production operations in Southern California and is the only one open to the public. These flower fields have been around for more than 30 years and consume just over 50 acres. The ranunculus flower is a member of the buttercup family and is native to Asia Minor. This place is huge and the best way to see the entire place is to jump on the tractor that drives around the entire perimeter. This will cost you an extra $6 and is paid before you get in line. The tractor ride is nothing special, however you do get an elevated view of the one acre American flag that is made up of red, white, and blue petunia flowers. This tradition was started after the 9-11 attacks and is in memory of those who lost their lives on that tragic day. If you do come around mid-April, make sure to visit the five acre patch of sunflowers that should be in bloom. Located at the northern end of the flower fields is a blueberry patch. When the conditions are right, you can buy a one pint basket for $5 and pick your own blueberries. Near the entrance, there is a variety of snack and drink options, like kettle corn, ice cream, and freshly squeezed lemonade. Next to the butterfly garden, there is a pizza trolley with picnic tables if you need to take a longer break to recharge your batteries. The butterfly garden is comprised of different flowering plants and various props. This area, along with the old rusty tractor just above the butterfly garden, are probably the two best spots for photos. There are a couple of additional specialty gardens that are nice as well. Near the exit is Santa's playground, perfect for those small kids that still need to work off a little energy. There is a little sweet pea maze towards the southern end past the giant chairs. Although it's still a little underdeveloped, once it reaches at least 5 feet tall, it'll be a fun addition. Located right next to the flower fields is an outdoor outlet mall. It's not a huge place, but you can easily kill an hour or two here after you're done with the flower fields. Green bean fries and a strawberry shake are my two favorite things to get at Ruby's Diner located right in front of the mall. Less than four miles north along the coast, straight up the Pacific Coast Highway, is Carlsbad Village. You can kill a few hours here for sure, just walking around and taking in the sights. Walk over to Carlsbad State Beach, soak up the sun, and do some people watching. When you get hungry, there are plenty of choices throughout the village. If you like comfort food and some unique drink selections, then check out Crackheads. A little chill place right on Carlsbad Village Drive next to the train station. I recommend the breakfast burrito, loaded tots, and wash it all down with a refreshing cracksicle. If you happen to be in town on Thursday, I highly recommend taking the short drive over to Oceanside 
for the Sunset Market that is held every Thursday evening from 5 to 9. If you're a foodie or just want to get out, this is a good place to check out. It's just a block up from the pier, but also has a few other vendors and live music. Hey! <laughs> I hope to see you every Thursday at Sunset Market. Overall, it's a great way to kill a few hours in the evening or sample some different food. If you have a morning time slot at the flower fields, a good place to stop is the Windmill Food Hall just across the street. Although this place is primarily open for lunch and dinner, you can get a coffee and a decent breakfast here. It's basically a giant food court with a full bar. There's even a small arcade in the back. This place can even be rented out for small weddings, receptions, or special events. Make sure to drop a question or comment below. I love getting feedback. 